All right, we're in week five, and um, we have three chapters to cover this week. Um, you know, I I've definitely I've been posting stuff about um, keeping you guys motivated, but I've definitely had a lot of students drop off, and um, you know. What's important right now is that I'll take in some late work, but you have to understand as a cram course, if you even miss a week, it's like being gone for two to three weeks from class. Um, today, I am uh, going to add in zeros in all of the spots. Um, I've been saying that before in a lot of my classes and I haven't got to it. Because once I put the zero, I have to put the assignment by hand if I'm going to take a late assignment and there's a room for error and I don't have time to do it for a thousand million people which right now it's kind of getting to be a, a lot of numbers of people that um, are probably going to want to turn in some late work I'm not doing extra credit uh, it, um, it we're, we're, we're the work that I give is a lot but you there's a lot of points you can afford to not do well on this test you can afford to even not do a paper now and then or to do a lower quality you just have to keep up overall with the work and um, you know you can do this and especially if you've got this far okay um, you know right now if I see that you're missing more than four assignments you need to call me by um, in the next you need to be calling me is what you need to do if you're gonna stay because I have to drop uh, students who are not around so um, you don't need to be embarrassed or or make you know grovel with me, but I just need to kind of figure out what we're going to do with you because it's it, once you've missed over four assignments, it's 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 a lot of points, right? And catching up is going to be even harder. I and mean, we should strategize like what the best approach for you to take on this. But I need you to contact me if you're missing more than four assignments, and we haven't already been talking. You need to call me. Uh, tonight it needs to happen okay and if it's way more than that I may have to drop several people uh, today if, if we're talking about real big especially if we haven't had a conversation okay already and I am very it, you know for me it's not it's not even like I'm mad or take it personal it's just that I have to um, I have to be doing that it's something that I'm kind of been you know I've, I've had my bosses kind of recently you know my, my supervisors they're not called that in academic world but essentially I have to follow if you guys are not showing up I have to um, I have to have you out uh, okay so I don't want to do that I want to keep you and I want to encourage you and I want to remind you look at I'm looking over here on the screen like I'm talking to you I'm looking down and I see after this week we have two more weeks of heavy workload last week is a final my final is going to be another like paper which will be nothing compared to what you're doing so final is not the thing to worry about just t toughing out two more weeks two more weeks okay you can do it and you'll be done and if this class has uh, overwhelmed you you'll never have to see me again okay um you will you know whatever but uh, having said that I think you've learned a lot right and this week is a lot um, in fact I actually decided kind of last minute to put a lot of those uh, crash course um, documentaries for the first part I think he's a little more exciting dynamic um, might keep your attention a little bit better he goes fast but take notes take notes as if they're my lectures and you can use the information that he has and they're also incorporated into your papers this week okay so um, yeah you, you should be able to have that and, and I understand again just like the workload I have two lovely lady friends of mine that said Josh I am my first name it's a pic it's a beautiful day let's there's a picnic let's have a picnic and uh, here I am on this thing this thing Ugh. so we all have no uh, life together somewhat temporarily but I need to make money you need to get your education and in turn make money and so here we are so 
I want to encourage you to keep up with this class. We're almost done. Okay? And I just need you to call me from now on if you're needing help or whatever. Like, uh, at, at this point, as I'm seeing assignments not turned in, I'm going to have to just start putting in the zero, 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 zeros. And I want to remind you again, if I haven't put in those zeros because I'm waiting and allowing you to turn in late work, as soon as I put in zeros, your grade changes. So if you see that you have a high grade and you've missed a lot of assignments, you need to realize that that grade's not real. Okay? Like, it's it's lower. And that you, you know that's the grade you're gonna that you would have if you were turning in all your work. Okay, so again, I don't want this to be negative, I want it to be positive, but I just want to kind of like realize, like get everybody to kind of like rethink, keep on board. I know in this push, and keep in mind that again, this information that you learn right now is getting you really up to date. Okay, this is U.S. history that really is a, a, applicable to so much of what's going on right now and in and, 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 you know, modern world history and in a sense this is especially where us incorporates this into world history and in fact i put my world history lecture uh down for the last section and so um at the time i had a terrible cold <laughs> sorry about that and um you know i mentioned some things in there in context to the class at the time so i think i mentioned something about a paper at the end it's not a, doesn't apply to you guys um uh, but in any case, um, I think you should find it informative, and uh, I still want you to look at the book and look through it, okay? Um, your textbook, um, in my first lecture, I kind of mentioned, you know, just to gloss over it, but um, utilize your textbook. And, um, you know, I, I think right now, um, if you've been mainly keeping up the work, you shouldn't be worrying too much about things. If you decide that you have enough points and you want to, like, not do a paper... That's up to you. It's not my responsibility to count how many points you have and how much you need to get the grade that you want. But what I would like you to do, though, is just send me uh, a message saying, uh, Mr. Pollock, I'm too busy. I, I couldn't get to this next paper. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get it. OK, um, so I know that, you know, but um, that's going to be your, ultimately your choice. And I'm hoping that if you don't write the paper, you've at least thought about the subject, the question that I've asked you to write about. OK, so. Again, that's on you for your own strategy, but again, I'm letting you know I won't take it personal. Um, you know, I'm just not going to give you a grade for something that you don't give me, right? So that's all. Um, yeah, so hopefully you will get to have a good day. And if you're done or ahead of time, good for you. If you can make it to a picnic, I encourage you to do so on such a lovely day. All right.